What's up guys, Randy here. Today I am excited to make this video with you where I will be comparing the brand new iPad Pro 12.9 inches, the 2015 uh, MacBook Pro Retina display, and the iPhone 6S Plus. So basically guys, what you're looking at is the newest products from Apple. Today is May the 10th, 2016. Uh, next month sometime they're going to be dropping the new MacBook Pro um, But basically this is the one that's at the stores right now, and I'm going to show you the specs Okay So you guys can see Okay, so it all the, all of them say early 2015 is a 2.7 gigabytes uh, Core i5 with 8 gigabytes of RAM Intel Iris 6100 Anyway, it's the same one at the store right now, okay? So that's the MacBook Pro. I just restarted it, so there's no, uh, there's nothing open, there's no nothing. So there's nothing running in the background. Here, and I'll show you. See, nothing running. So, MacBook Pro, um, the newest model out, and of course, the 12.9 inch MacBook, Pro, I'm sorry, iPad Pro. And uh, this video that I'm going to be um, exporting, was shot in 4K, and you can actually go look at it. It's called How to Meal Prep and Chicken Recipe, which basically I'm showing you how I meal prep my food, and I'm gonna give you my uh, chicken recipe to how I cook my chicken. But anyway, it's a 4K video, 12 minutes and 54 seconds long on all three devices. And the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of us, um, you know, that make videos, we're always looking for the fastest machine when it comes to video editing so we can get things done quicker. So I'm gonna give you an idea of what is going to be the faster machine, either an iPad Pro, a MacBook Pro, or the iPhone 6S Plus. So this is the 6S Plus, all right? So I'm gonna get all of these going at the same time. So I'm gonna go here, file, and I'm saving all of them to their own, uh, memory so I'm not putting it to a USB or nothing it's all going to the um, product itself okay and as you can see it's all gonna be in 4k now I'm gonna have to start these two quick and then the on uh, the MacBook Pro right after so boom there we go so maybe a half not even a half a second between all three so it's pretty accurate when it comes to this. Now, again, the reason why I'm doing this is because most of my videos I shoot with my iPhone 6S Plus. And um, honestly, guys, I've been using the same device to edit my videos. Reason why is because I don't do too much, um, you know, playing with the colors or nothing weird like that. Usually I just include my intro, my outro, uh, lower the voice if it's too loud, and boom, edit it, right? Um, now this videos I haven't touched anything on they're just all the same between all three devices and uh, as you can see the bar here will show you the the progress between here this one's here and then for the MacBook Pro it's that little circle and it'll start to fill up you know as it goes all right guys so we're halfway through right now um, if you take a look the iPad Pro is a little bit um, over the halfway line, the iPhone 6S Plus is also a little bit over the halfway line, and the MacBook Pro is almost to the halfway. It's almost to the halfway, so it's still not to the halfway. Um, so, so far, it looks like the iPad Pro and the iPhone 6S Plus are beating the MacBook Pro. So, I'm going to continue to watch, and I will see you at the end of the video. Thank you. Okay guys, so it looks like uh, the iPad Pro is just now finishing up. If you take a look, it's basically done. It's just copying the movie to the photo library. Uh, in second place, it looks like the iPhone is almost done. It's not done yet. Actually, now it's copying media to the library, so it is done. Uh, but we are gonna wait till that thing comes up. So iPad Pro number one, for sure. Um, let's see, it's almost done, it's almost done.
So basically this is already done, it's just copying it to the, to the photo library. So I still want to wait till it comes up like that, like it's been exported and says that it's done. MacBook Pro is still going, still not there yet. Okay, I guess it takes a long time to copy to the media. There we go, boom. That was exactly a minute and 12 seconds apart from the iPad Pro. And the MacBook Pro is still um, going, it has not finished. So, um, I mean, we could sit here and watch the MacBook Pro and wait and all that, but we're not gonna do that. Basically, the conclusion here is that the iPad Pro is the faster of the three machines when it comes to video editing a 4K video. And obviously, this is not a short video. This is 12 minutes and 54 seconds of 4K shooting, uh, which is almost about three gigabytes. Uh, between the three machines, uh, the iPad Pro obviously uh, is the faster one. In second place, and I am very impressed, my iPhone 6S Plus um, came in in second place by a minute and 12 second difference from this. Now it was already done, but obviously I was waiting for that little window to pop up. So it took exactly a minute and 12 seconds, which is not bad for something you can just carry around in your, in your pocket. You know, the kind of power that it, it has to edit your videos on the go. And then all you have to do is either upload them to YouTube or, uh, you know, airdrop them onto your computer and then put it on a hard drive or whatever you want to do. But I mean, when you buy a MacBook Pro, most people are going to use it for, you know, intense work like video editing and stuff like that. And you expect the machine to be a very powerful and especially out of these three be the fastest because that's what I would think. You know, this is just an iPad and that's just a phone. So the full blown computer MacBook Pro should be beating all three of these. But that's obviously not the case, guys. We're still running this video and that's still not done. Um, in conclusion, I love the iPad Pro for that same reason. It's very fast, it's very powerful. Um, this is one of my uh, on the go machines, not just for school, but obviously I can video edit, I can do all kinds of cool things with it. My phone is my main camera at this time because I like to shoot in 4K, give you guys some good quality video. And it is now also my video editing device at the palm of my hand with it, which is amazing. With that being said, guys, I love all three of these products. I own all three of these products, obviously. But um, when it comes to video editing, a 4K video, your best bet is gonna be uh, either the iPad Pro or the phone that you even shot it with. So with that being said, guys, the MacBook Pro is still almost going there. Thank you for watching and I will see you with the next video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and uh, thank you.